here I am at it again. Sorry I haven't made a video in all a while. I've uh, been busy with work and of course I've been practicing quite a lot lately. And uh, just having a lot of fun with uh, this software, ToneLib GFX. Uh, the last time I looked at this uh, on Cup of Linux, um, I had just uh, covered the software on the day I had first tried it out. I was running it in demo mode, and uh, I've been playing with it quite a bit since then, and I've discovered some interesting features. Uh, one of the things that I mentioned is that there's a possibility that you can run this past the 30-day demo, and this is true. It does, however, give you a nag screen and uh, a little countdown timer in big red letter, letters saying that the demo has expired and that sort of thing. And, uh, well, after the demo had expired, obviously, uh, I really wanted this software and I knew I was going to get it because of the so many things that this uh, can do. Now, something of interest uh, that I did not mention in the last video is that this software also works as a VST plugin. Uh, I tried to run it uh, as a plugin in LMS, LMMS as a VST2 or a VST3 plugin running it through Carla, and it kept crashing the software. This did not occur, though, when I used a ToneLib GFX uh, in Bitwig Studio. And maybe I'll do a demonstration on that down the line once I have had more time to uh, work with the software and I have a better understanding of its workflow. Uh, it, it's still a little daunting for me, but uh, I'm using Bitwig uh, and I'm using the ToneLib GFX with Bitwig and it's absolutely amazing. The only difference is that the user interface you only get, uh, you know, the uh, you know your presets and that sort of thing. This the top part of the interface, but you do not get the rhythm player and all the other stuff. Obviously, because you're using your digital audio workstation to perform those other tasks, and basically you're using this to uh, get your. Uh, you know, to, to apply effects to a, a certain channel. Okay, um, so you've heard me uh, work with the rhythm player. Uh, in a previous episode, I wanted to cover a metronome that you could easily customize, and then another piece of software for uh, speeding up and slowing down uh, audio. Uh, some of you may remember in years past when... Uh, you wanted to, say, learn a guitar solo. Uh, I know a lot of people who wanted to learn how to play Eddie Van Halen's Eruption would, you know, buy the cassette of the album and then slow it down so that they could, you know, by ear pick out each what each of those notes were and that sort of thing. Well, this software has something like that built in. And uh, we're going to go uh, to the backing tracks here. Now, um, and I'm going to open a backing track. Now, um, uh, I'll have a link in the description below where you can get these royalty-free backing tracks if any of you are interested in them. And uh, let me go ahead and pick one of his uh, songs here because uh, I'm going to jam out to it. All right, and what's really cool about this is you can speed this up or slow it down, uh, and uh, it'll maintain its pitch. Now, something that I noticed I on most of these tracks, I rarely want to go below 80%, and going above 125, it kind of sounds weird. Uh, but um, for this particular one, this sounds like something. This sounds like something maybe the rock group Rat would have done, or it's something similar. Let's check this out. So uh, here we are. Uh, this is an uh, G major or E minor.
Boy, I wish I had something like this when I was a teenager learning how to play the guitar. I'd probably be able to go a, a, a lot more places with this. It's amazing stuff what you can do here. All right, let's try this now at 125%. I'm playing in the same exact key. This is really cool stuff, so you could take a recording. I will note, though, this software, for some reason, cannot read the MP3s. I had to actually uh, create a batch script to uh, convert all the uh, MP3s that are in this album over to uh, WAV files that this can read. Uh, but I understand it's only a problem on Linux, and uh, a number of people have reported it on the forum. So hopefully one of these days uh, it'll eventually get solved. But if not, it's not certainly not a deal breaker because uh, it does read the uh, other file formats uh, just fine. So uh, that is good indeed. I want to go over real quick the Ideas Recorder. I'm unable to demonstrate it, but I can confirm that uh, you can have this software literally uh, do any number of things. You can uh, have it play the metronome or the drum machine, and then when you are recording, you can only have it recording the guitar and not the backing. So let's say you wanted to, you know, write a guitar solo and you're using a backing track uh, to do it. Well, it'll just record the guitar if you specify this uh, in, in your settings. You define the recording sources that it's coming from, the recording output, where you want the file saved, what you want it to do when it starts recording, and what you want the software to do once the recording is finished. Uh, but the uh, output and um, your recording sources pretty much uh, right here is where you define whether you want it to have the backing track playing or the rhythm player, which are in these tabs here. Okay. You also have the loop station. And I think I even have a loop that's already in here that I've recorded. never really gotten good at doing loops, but um, it's here. Uh, now, personally, as far as doing looping and that sort of thing is, I'd much rather use the Ideas Recorder and then just use uh, Audacity to cut the loop segments that I want, that I can position uh, in a, a program similar to uh, Bitwig back in the day when I wrote the original Cup of Linux um, introductory sequences, I ran FL Studio through Wine. Well, I no longer have that software due to a hard drive crash, so now it's time for me to, <laughs> you know, look into other options, and when I tried to run uh, this software through LMMS and it kept crashing and everything, it's like, well, let's see what other options there are out there. And so far, the only thing I could find that could uh, handle it is Bitwig, and Bitwig is the only alternative to FL Studio out there that's, that, that's really uh, relevant uh, as far as I'm concerned. It has a workflow that I'm somewhat familiar with, at least with the timelines and that sort of thing. So that's something I may uh, have coming up on the show uh, down the line. Um, 
I will say the guitar tuner on this is amazing too. Um, oh, that's not it. I've shown the audition. The uh, guitar tuner uh, is great. I have this one set up here so that um, no audio will play while I'm tuning. And it lets me know that I have my strings properly in tune. And I actually like this better than the tuner, than the guitar tuner that's on my uh, pedal. So uh, I can very easily see myself um, uh, putting ToneLib GFX onto uh, a secondary laptop computer and just using that um, because this is a complete, um, uh, totally awesome uh, workstation uh, for the guitarist and that sort of thing. Uh, I'm not sure uh, what else to say. Um, I think I've pretty much covered everything uh, that I wanted to say about the software that I wasn't able to uh, cover before. So I guess uh, I'm just going to finish up by uh, picking up uh, another backing track. Uh, let me uh, open up something. Oh, we've got a nice little equalizer for this too. So your backing tracks, uh, if you don't like the sound, you can uh, do some tweaking with this, uh, as you can see that I've done here. Uh, to get some better sounds out of those backing tracks. And uh, so, yeah, let's uh, open up a different one here. Uh, ha, 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 ha. What do I want to play? Um, let's try the Lost Cause one because I'm still a Lost Cause where my playing is concerned. But you know what? I'm having a lot of fun with this. And uh, what can I say? Um, uh, you know, this is what I use to practice with every day, to practice improvising, my soloing, and that sort of thing. Uh, I've got music in several different keys, so I can practice my scales and stuff. And uh, all in all, this is an awesome piece of software. <laughs>